over 11 years ago. And I was busy setting up the network and the PC when a guest walked up to me and they asked me what I was doing. I explained I was installing the new internet cafe. I was actually on board a carnival vessel. And um, I said, I'm setting up the PCs in the network. And he said, um, so you can check your internet and also surf the internet. He looked at me and said, why would I want to check my email? I'm on vacation. At the time, few guests had personal devices. They had their laptops or they brought their, or they can use the personal PCs that we had on board. Passengers had phones, but they weren't very smart phones. And they were very limited in capability. The guests at the time were checking email, searching on Yahoo, or looking at the weather for the next port. At the time, email was the number one web category being utilized in the Internet Cafe platform. Now, flash forward 11 years, and if the Internet goes down for a few minutes, you have a line of guests complaining at the front desk. Oh, let's go back. <laughs> let's go back. There we go. We still have to contend with the PCs and the laptops, but more and more people are coming with the devices on board. And the number of devices is growing exponentially. I myself travel with no less than three devices. I have my iPad, my Android phone, and my Kindle, all of which are hungry for internet. Today, guests want to stay connected. They want to share their experiences and share their pictures with their friends and family back home. Guests want communication. They want content and information. They want entertainment. Email is no longer in the top three categories in the Internet Cafe platform anymore. The problem is, I just can't open up Netflix and watch a movie or use Pandora to listen to music. Skype works if I'm lucky. Guests want to do everything they do at home and they want to be able to do it in the middle of the ocean. The expectation for most new cruisers is that it will work. But as everybody has pointed out, uh, Bill and Vincent, there's this imaginary magical stuff that we need to contend with. You can't see it, you can't smell it, you can't taste it. But as soon as you open up your browser, you can feel it. Bandwidth. It's needed to make all these things work. Lastly, the size of the internet is growing. Over the last five years, the average website has more than tripled in size. This is a trend that will continue in the future. So what can be done to address the user expectation, the available bandwidth on board, and how do we stay ahead of the game? Innovation. Innovation is not just about making cool and new products. Sometimes just simply taking old ideas that work on land and making them work in the middle of the ocean. TV, internet, calling, all relatively simple from land. Not so easy on a cruise ship in the middle of the ocean. Let's take a look at some ideas to make it all possible. First, localization of content. Localization of content is key. Bring the heavy bandwidth intensive applications on board. If a, if a guest wants to watch the latest sports updates on this phone at the bar, why stream that over the satellite? Have the content on board so users can access that information over the local network. WAN optimization, caching, acceleration can only take us so far. We need to bring the content on board to give users a better guest experience a more land-like experience. How do we get that content on board? By developing alternate delivery methods. 4G, LTE, Wi-Fi, WiMAX. These are just a few of the technologies that can coexist with the current communication platform on board. Imagine that a ship pulled into its next port, downloading all the latest movies, content, books, news, Scheduling delivery of bandwidth intensive activities. When a user goes to Facebook and posts a picture, it happens in real time. Within seconds, it's shared with all their friends. 
But what if we were able to skip the delivery of that picture during a non-peak time? By scheduling content, intensive activities, we can make better use of the available bandwidth on board. Bandwidth management. This seems like an easy one, but I'm still surprised by this today. Does anybody know what the number one consumer of bandwidth on board the Inner Cafe is today? No fair. <laughs> anybody? Updates. Windows updates, Apple updates, Adobe updates, application updates. Updates take up precious bandwidth, and most people don't even know what's happening. The process runs in the background, and guests are none the wiser. I ran a snapshot of traffic over the last month crossing our network. Over 50 terabytes of data. 20% of that going to updates that do not enhance revenue and drive up bandwidth usage. Sometimes it's as simple as guest education or using network tools to block them on traffic. Great changes are happening in terms of IT and communications. Everyone knows we need a lot more bandwidth at a lower cost. Ten years ago we were talking about kilobytes. Today we're talking about megabytes and gigabytes. And tomorrow we're going to be talking about terabytes. And we need to prepare now. There are some exciting things in the works around cloud computing, data optimization, and ways of augmenting the current satellite infrastructure. There is no one silver bullet that's going to solve the issue. It's a combination of ideas and new innovations that will ultimately solve the puzzle. Times are changing. We must change with it. Thank you.